The last one, the one that I've probably spent the most time with uh, this week while I've been out and about for work and traveling and stuff like that is the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time in 3D for my 3DS. Oh, I want that. Uh, <laughs> uh, I, I, I like it. I, I think I don't know why it is considered the best Zelda yet, and I'm only a few hours into it. Um, but sort of in the in the canon of Zelda, and I've never played Ocarina before. Uh, and whenever people start talking about Zelda with me, I go, "Oh yeah, that's I've not played that one." And they go, "Why are you crazy?" Um, I don't know. Just never went and played it on the sixty four. But <laughs> in the in the time that I spent with it on the three DS, it's very pretty. I mean, it's it's really really nice looking. I think they did a fantastic job with three D. I'm playing it with the three D cranked all the way up. Oh wow! Um, which means I get. Three and a half hours of battery life. <laughs> I was going to say, it means you can play it for like 15 minutes before your right. head splits open. For what? Um, I'm, I'm beyond the headache stage with the 3DS. The first week with the 3DS oh. was kind of headachey, but uh, it doesn't bother me anymore. It was, uh, again, speaking of my girlfriend, she was looking at uh, at the screen going, I don't know how you can look at that. And I'm like, you, well, you get used to it. The pain goes away eventually. Um, but uh, I should put that yeah, on the I box. Mean, the, right, the pain, the pain, goes, pain away. goes away. If it... <laughs> um. Yeah, I, the Zelda games that I've enjoyed the most that I've played all the way through are the cell shaded cartoony um, version of Link. The which ones are those? Well, the two DS ones, the Spirit Tracks and Phantom Hourglass and Wind Waker. I guess Wind Waker is the big one. Um, I like those a lot. I like the character design. I like the way the worlds work. I like that there's always sort of a traversal element, be it a boat or a train or whatever. Um, and uh, this this feels a little dare I say generic. Like, like the character models aren't that great, and the story's not so interesting thus far. And I'm again, well, you have I'm only... to remember it's like 13 years old. As well, well, yeah, and I keep trying to remember that too. But it, like, Wind Waker is nine years old, is it not? Well, I mean, the art direction of Wind Waker right. is probably a little, you know, notch above this. But give it a time, I think you're going to really enjoy it. Yeah, I mean, I'm not giving up by any means. I mean, it certainly has all the Zelda stuff that I like. I'm sort of at like a first dungeon now, and I'm like, oh yeah, this feels like Zelda. Um, one of my coworkers was like, oh, just wait, this cool thing is coming, and it will completely change your take on the game. Um, so uh, I'm gonna hang in there. I'm certainly not gonna give up playing, but uh, I mean, I like it. I mean, it's nice to have a game for the 3DS that I actually want to play now. Um, but uh, yeah, so far not entirely sold on Ocarina. Yeah. Well, you gotta remember. I mean. Uh... I do think some of the uh, the gushing praise for it is a little, uh, a little much. overdone. Yeah, it's a little much. And uh, well, I don't know. the past is better. That's that's true. <laughs> I, I absolutely do not disagree. But a lot of it was, you know, it's the first 3D Zelda game. It was a huge N64 hit at the time, and uh, you know, a lot of the stuff, a lot of the mechanics and concepts in that game were just brand new. Right. So just uh, you know what, keep playing and. Uh, Tell us how you feel about the game after you've gotten Epona, because the game tends to pick up after that. Okay. It is a, yeah, it's still very good. I, I want a 3DS. Oh, somebody give me theirs. Just send it to me. <laughs> Epona is the horse, right? Yeah, and I can't okay. wait to see uh, how you enjoy the water temple as well. I'd like to hear about that. <laughs> I, I, I found the place where the water temple is. I found the pool, but obviously I can't go down in there yet. Um, and I found the, the farm where I get Epona, but they mm -hmm. won't give her to me yet. <laughs> so uh i again I, I feel like certainly there's a lot of stuff that's been teased that is still yet to come uh i think i'm just to the graveyard in one of the uh villages and i'm i'm doing uh <laughs> I'm, I'm desecrating grave sites by pulling them and moving them around and looking for holes underneath and <laughs> hey it wouldn't be zelda if you weren't desecrating graves <laughs> i know what he does just breaks into people's houses and smashes all their pottery smashes all their pottery yeah. exactly <laughs> takes their money <laughs> Link is a bit of an asshole, isn't he? Right. Well, it's funny. Well, that, I mean, that's one of the conventions of Dragon Quest IX, too, is you just sort of walk into people's homes and nobody <laughs> questions it. But uh, uh, somebody, it, it was funny in, in, in Ocarina, just I was playing it this morning and somebody's like, you're a rude little boy for walking into our home. I'm like, hey, somebody finally called me. And it. <laughs> <laughs> All the Zelda games I've played, nobody ever said, what the fuck are you doing in my house? Did you, uh, did you try, you know, stabbing one of the chickens yet? No. Oh, yes, <laughs> you, should, you should do that. I'm not not going to tell you what happens next you but you should, okay. should do that <laughs> yeah the, the most recent thing i did is funny that you say the little chickens what are they called cuckoos uh, right. cuckoos right. yeah I, i'm currently cuckoo wrangling <laughs> there's somebody's like oh, my cuckoos have gotten out please find seven of them i'm like really seven of them come on <laughs> three three maybe i would do three but send me running around this goddamn village i have better things to do but, well i think the yeah. last one is on a roof or something you'll enjoy that one i oh, totally time. forgot about that part yeah. yeah, there's one behind a fence that I can see, and I don't know how to get there yet. And uh, it has that perfect amount of just 
sort of obscurity to it that, that is making me sort of antsy and, and reminisce uh, over my uh, my previous Zelda experiences. <laughs> well, um, let me tell you, when you when you eventually get over that fence and you get to the cuckoo, just uh, you know hit it a couple of times with your sword. Uh, okay. See see what happens. <laughs> uh, as a vegan, I object to that. <laughs> um, I, I don't know. I'm not really sure what that means, but uh, anyway, oh, you don't have to eat it. Just, just stab it. <laughs> <laughs> just stab it. <laughs> it's not real, Randy. I know. Cartoon animal abuse is still animal. No. Um. <laughs> anyways, so yeah, I Whole cut the on the hour this with, week, folks. With, with, with Zelda, <laughs> I will continue to uh, uh, come to the table with impressions of Legend of Zelda: Ocarina as I get through it, because I, um, I believe, anyways, there are a few people that were interested in in, in hearing about my first experience with it. So. Um, I'll keep everybody posted. 